you guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog and uh, welcome back to my car <laughs> it is uh, Friday a day in May <laughs> put the date up on the screen cuz I don't know my goodness people do like to ride on your rear end anyway welcome thank you so much for joining me today and if you're new I am so glad that you have popped into this video and I hope you'll subscribe today I am heading to have lunch with a friend. I have just left the gas station. I needed to get gas, which is, oh, I just, you guys, just exited in the wrong spot. That's all right. I can still get there. It just takes a little longer. Anyway, um, one moment, please. I do that all the time. All the time. It's a habit to exit there, and I do it all the time and when I'm trying to go the other way, anyway, so annoying when I do that. So um, I am on my way to have lunch with a friend that I went to college with. I have not seen her in an age since prior to COVID. And um, it's funny, I was thinking about her and she texted me and I was like, whoa, <laughs> that's weird. Anyway, um, so I'm excited. So we decided to get together. And what's really funny is a friend from high school messaged me um, right before we were going out of town. I told her I would get back with her when we got back into town so that we could go and have coffee. So um, it's so funny how life works like that. Like you don't hear from, think about, do things with people forever. And then all of a sudden you like think about it or you think about them and then they reach out. So funny how life works like that anyway um so we're gonna grab coffee this morning and then i think we're gonna have some lunch i don't know it depends upon the day um so we are now back officially from all of our cruises um cruise season for us is over travel season is over it is now work season big time work is crazy crazy right now. I, I can't even tell you how crazy, oh no, this lane ends, how crazy work is. It's just crazy. It's a good thing. That's always, it's always a good thing for work to be busy. Always. Um, so yeah, so my house is a disaster. I am a disaster. I have not even completely unpacked from our cruise. All my clothes and everything, that's all unpacked, but like my tech and my travel stuff that I always have ready to go. That's anyway, two suitcases are small carry-ons that still need to be unpacked. So that needs to be done. Um, I need to clean my house. <laughs> bad, my bad. It's not dirty, it's messy. And so that needs to be handled. And I am back on track as of Monday of this week. Um, dear. And let me just tell you, I am ready. I am ready to be back on track. I felt so bad on this last cruise. So bad. It was time. It is time. I am ready, beyond ready to be back on track. So Monday, the diet began. Not, it's not a diet. It's the way I have to live. It is what I have to eat uh, in order to feel good and in order to not feel sick all the time. And so that began on Monday. Uh, starting this weekend, I'm going to meal plan with the family. Um, and uh, we're going to go forward from there. I am trying to just completely eliminate as much food from our freezers and our pantries as possible before I go grocery shopping again. So probably another week. Um, and then I'm going to clean out the pantry, clean out the freezers organize them completely, make a list of what's in there, and we're going to eat through what's in there because it's time. So um, I do this every summer. I get in this mood every summer. I like to grill. We like to cook outside. We don't like to eat outside because it's too hot, um, but we like to grill and that kind of thing. So that is all coming. So we'll be back in the kitchen quite a bit on the home vlogs. Our next cruise is in September. Cinco Ranchia, this is it. I always forget what exit it is. 
and this road has been redone so many times that it's impossible to tell where the lanes are because the, the striping has been removed but it's still there and then the new striping is just dots Ugh, it drives me crazy anyway um so uh yes so there's going to be lots of back in the kitchen lots of cooking in the home vlogs and lots of buddy time you can see his little holder back here um to protect the seats um he is uh at daycare today and his training starts I think in two weeks we start his first training session at home and then he will do in July so we're gonna do home training for a little while and see how we do with that but we do have him scheduled in July for board and train but he's not it's not overnights it's just during the day he will stay during the day and then you know what Absolutely passed it. What is my problem? Dear me. Okay, well, I can get there from here. Anyway, um, he will start his board and train where he goes during the day and he has training classes, private training classes, and then he goes home in the evenings. And that's Monday through Friday for two weeks. And um, honestly, we could do the board and train where he stays there, but y'all, I can't be without my dog for two weeks. I, I seriously, I, I am so in love with this dog. It's frightening. I, I Addie, Joe, and Millie, I am 100% sure, 100% sure they sent me this dog. They told him where to go because they knew how much I was going to miss them. And I can't talk about this anymore because I'll start crying. But the best dog on the planet, he's such a good boy. Such a good boy honestly don't know how we got so blessed he's just amazing anyway but he's gonna go to train because he pulls on the leash and he pulled mommy out the front door this morning and um, almost to the street and I couldn't stop him because he is a strong young man very very strong so we're gonna start some training it's for his safety and mine oh, where is Sephora she's right there so we can park right here okay so we are here 20 minutes early, naturally, because it's me. Let me see who texted me now. Anyway, um, I know we're dazzled here with the sunlight. It's kind of pretty. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't even remember what I was talking about, but uh, I'm back on track. I am starting on Monday back on the treadmill. I mean, I've been on the treadmill off and on, but back into consistency, consistency on the treadmill. We're talking about Buddy's training pretty much told you everything consistently on the treadmill and then we're going to I'm also incorporating some hand weight and some body weight exercises I have tried this for years and years and I've never been successful with it but you guys I am determined I am determined to start some basic strength training body weight and weight strength training so anyway and I'm letting my hair grow out again I do this every year y'all know that um this is the manicurist so after some practice I think I've got it down this is from Monday I've had no chipping no nothing and on the hand that I use the most there's been a little wear at the tips of the nails but uh, it's Friday I did the Monday I think I did the Monday maybe Sunday Sunday or Monday and um, yes I know they're crooked remember you guys have crooked ears um, so uh, yeah I am very impressed with this I did place a second order so there you go. And I am thinking of trying the, it's, oh my goodness. Why can I never remember the names of things? They're in my head and then when I'm going to tell you about them, they just, whoop, they fly away. So I'm going to try the online subscription to Retin-A. Um, oh my God. I, Pureology. Is that it? Cure, Cureology. Pureology. What is that? That's something. Cureology. Um, but it's the their sister company. Terry tried them, and I'm gonna look and just compare the price. Um, and she's had good luck with them. I've been using Retin-A for many, many years, um, and uh, but I am tired of so much skincare. I really am. Um, I am ready to get down to the basics. I know it works on my skin, and I just don't need all this extra stuff. And it's such a pain to travel with. It really, really is. 
So, and I tend to fall off my routine when we travel because it's so much stuff and I'm tired of it. I'm really just tired of it. So Beauty Pie is, a, is their items I really, really like. Aurelia, I really, really like. So there's going to be like one item or two items from Beauty Pie I keep and then one, the moisturizer from Aurelia is just over the top for me and my skin loves it. Um, so I'm gonna keep that and then um, I'm gonna try the Curology. And basically the other one, there's the sister company. Um, and basically whatever, and then I'll put an acid on my skin in the mornings and then vitamin C in the morning. So very, very simple routine. I wanna use my um, Retin-A at night with a moisturizer and that's it. And then in the morning, every other day, a vitamin C or an acid and then a moisturizer. That's it, that's all I wanna do. I don't wanna be lugging around all of this stuff. It, I just am tired of it. Um, and it's a mess on my countertop. Y'all, I went through this with the makeup also. I'm just over it. I'm over makeup, I'm over all of the clutter and all of the stuff. And this started with like the subscription boxes. They went and then I'm just ready to downsize all of that. Um, and this past week, when we were on the cruise, basically I brought very little makeup. And you know what? I didn't even use all of that. I didn't miss it. I didn't miss it. So there'll be no more purchasing makeup. Uh, I'm not even sure I'll be buying the new Chanel fall palette like I've been talking about for months. Probably won't even buy that. I mean, what for? So um, yeah. I, I think this little girl has finally grown up and I'm over all the makeup and um, over all of the extra stuff. So yeah, anyway, now if I could just get over wanting new clothes every time I turned around, that would be very helpful. Yes, it would be. Anyway, because I love clothing and I love shoes and um, you know, that's just all there is to it. But I am like buying less. Um, J. Crew, so my favorite store is Nordstrom, obviously, Nordstrom Rack. Only shop clearance. Only. That's it. It's the only thing I buy at either one of those stores. Um, Loft, J. Crew, Old Navy, those are my stores. And when they go on, or Kohl's, when they go and have big, huge, super sales, I like to pick up things. Um, lately I've been shopping for Robert quite a bit. Um, but uh, like we just bought him all new shorts, we bought him all new shoes, all of that stuff. So enough talking, It's I've been yapping at you for 15 minutes now and I need to go meet my friend and these are the cutest sunglasses. I just wish my ears were level. There, I bent them, maybe that'll stay. It won't, they'll move. Anyway, this dress is from Loft. This is my, oh, I need to turn it around. My Kendra Scott set that I've been wearing forever forever. There's one more necklace from Kendra Scott that I really, really want. I really want it. Maybe we'll get it. Maybe we won't. Um, and then the earrings and then uh, the same jewelry I've been wearing forever now. And, uh, you know, my Pandora bracelet and my watch. Okay. Uh, my watch is dying. I'm going to have to get a new one. This one's two or three years old. I don't remember how old it is. It's a few years old and the battery is starting to go. Okay. 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 You guys, thank you so much. I'll see you in a minute. I'll see you after lunch. It's going to be a long lunch because we get to chatting and you know, that was wonderful. How lovely to catch up with a friend. I can't wait to visit with her again. All right. There we go. Let me concentrate on backing up. We discussed everything and anything. So that was awesome. Really, really enjoyed that. You waiting for my space? Yes, you are. And um, I cannot wait to visit with her again. She has grandbabies and anything. Anyway, it, it was great. It was absolutely wonderful. So. Anyway, um, I just want you to know that you should cherish your friends and the people who bring your joy. Cherish them, spend time with them. Don't waste that time. Time is just so short in life, just so, so short. Now, I am going to run into Trader Joe's. We are right here. We are in La Sentera. Oh, Madison Reed, Kendra Scott. Y'all did not Francesca's? Wow, I don't 
don't come here and shop very frequently. So this is amazing. Okay, here we go. This is absolutely amazing. I did not know these grocery, these stores were here. There's a woo, store called Dish Society. That's interesting. Okay, and then we have this big open green area. Um, the store I was trying to get in my head earlier and could not get into my head is Talbot's. I went into Talbot's. Y'all, it's 115 degrees outside. It's so hot. Okay, let me get to Trader Joe's. <laughs> the cupcake store is just around the corner. Anyway, I'm going to go into Trader Joe and just get a couple of things. Don't need really anything. I told you we're trying to avoid going to the grocery store, but it's Trader Joe, and there are some very specific things that my family enjoys at Trader Joe. You know, the uh, fettuccine and, I don't know, uh, the brisket. I really do like the brisket from there. So anyway, go visit with your friends, especially if it has been a while. Go see your friends, go speak with them, go give them love and affection and attention. And um, we turn out right here, where are you going? Okay, let's go into Trader Joe. Oh no, you don't, we're in the shade, let's do it here. Okay, this is ridiculous. But when I walked into the store, I was just kind of passing some time with my, waiting for my friend, because I was early as always, look at this. This is a darling shirt. This is so cute. It has longer sleeves. It's perfect. It's ridiculously overpriced. Ridiculously overpriced. Um, but I am now officially in love with Talbots. Mm -hmm. I am. Uh, I had never shopped there before. Um, so that was lots of fun. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm going to take you into Trader Joe with me. We'll see. It's very, 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 very busy. Um, I swear it's Friday that thinks it's Saturday because everything is packed. Packed. Ugh, I don't want to, I don't want to turn my car off because the air conditioning. It's, I'm going to turn it up and then that way when I start my car, it'll, okay. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. What a lovely afternoon we had. Um, I did stick to just a few things at Trader Joe, but I did buy in bulk those few things because we so rarely get over here um but you know what i really think i'd like to start shopping a little more oh there's an athletica I've never actually shopped at athletic Ath athleta athleta what is it um goodness there's lots of fun stores here so i'm gonna have to look it up la centera i'm gonna have to look it up and see all the different stores and restaurants here and uh, in the spring, because it's hot now, and in the winter or f late fall, early winter, I will have to come shopping. Good place to do some Christmas shopping. We can all go together. So anyway, um, now I am entering the Grand Parkway traffic. That is what is about to be my next 15, 20 minutes traffic. And I won't bore you with sitting here talking to you, talking your ear off, although I might. I say that. I really can't touch my phone until we come to a stopping point. So anyway, so we are uh, headed home and tonight I am sure Chandler, Chandler will be having some fettuccine because he just loves it. I picked up some jar, jar, jardinera, but this is already chopped up and it has olives in it. So I believe that has a different name. I don't think Gardnera, however you say that, I don't think that has olives in it, but this did. More like, a, it's not a tapenade because it's not all olives. So it still had all the other pickled vegetables in it. So I'm excited, I love that stuff. If it's pickly, I love it. Um, and I'm sorry I didn't take you in there. There were 9,000 people in there along with the rude parking lady. So I just, whatever. Anyway, um, so, uh, I got that. What else did I get? I got some uh, uncured pepperoni because delicious. I got um, some frozen French green beans. I got um, la, 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 la. oh some frozen stir fry vegetables because Chandler enjoys putting those in his stir fries. Um, and I noticed they still had my beloved chocolate covered marshmallows and they had chocolate covered almond butter bites y'all 
So I'm on track. I'm not going to eat that kind of thing right now. But before we go on our next cruise, yeah, we're going to visit the Trader Joe's and we're going to stock up, okay? We're going to stock up for the cruise. We're going to have chocolate covered almond bites, almond butter bites, and we're going to have chocolate covered marshmallows and any other delectable treat that I can find in there. Okay. Um, I bought, I bought um, Robert some little mini frozen tacos because he likes to have those on hand. He, he likes them. He'll put sauce on them, cheese on them. He dresses them up all sorts of different ways. I got him beef and I got some uh, chicken ones uh, for Chandler. They are gluten free, so they are something that I could eat, but there is corn, so I cannot have them. Um, when I'm being good, when I'm being bad, I will indulge in them every now and then, but I am desperate to feel better. So there won't be any corn happening right now. So that's about all I got. Um, oh, I got some frozen rice cauliflower because I'm out. I have florets. I could have just whizzed them up, but this was more convenient. And I've been wanting to make um, some riced uh, chicken and, uh, you know, with the chicken salt. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Roasted chicken and then sh shred it with cauliflower with a little heavy whipping cream and the chicken salt. Oh dear me, that's so delicious. Oh, so good. Little chicken stock. Mmm, with that chicken. Mm, yeah, from the from the roast chicken. Oh, yummy. Okay. I gotta stop talking. I ain't gotta pay attention. Time to head home. Hello. It is 9.40 a.m. on Thursday, May the 25th. So we are coming up on Memorial Day weekend here in the States. How are you today? I am on uh, the Aaron running mission today. One moment. Alrighty. I have a big giant SUV on the side of me on my blind side and I could not see around it to back out. So how are you doing today? I hope that you are doing well. Um, you may have noticed by now that this vlog is nothing but a chatty vlog. Um, you know, I was in the car, so we're going to call this a car vlog. Maybe we'll call it That Girl Can Talk. Um, because that's all this vlog is going to be, is me talking. Um, so, I thought we would chit-chat while I ran errands. This is probably going to be a long vlog because I am long-winded, as you guys well know. Anyway... I have a ton of returns to make today. We are running errands. I brought my lunch with me or my breakfast. It's more my breakfast with me. And um, so we'll stop and have a little breakfast in a little while. But I needed to get out so I could get back home because we have an appointment this afternoon um, for Robert. So we are going to go to that together. And... Um, but I need to be home for that. So there you go. Buddy is at home and he's doing really, really well. He is such a cutie patootie. He has two things that we're working on right now and that is chasing the cats. It's done in fun. He does not understand that them hissing at him or swatting at him is them saying, leave me alone. He just doesn't get that. And so they run and he thinks they're playing, so he wants to chase them. So we are working on that. He, he needs to learn to leave the kitties alone. He desperately needs to learn that. So, and Buddy needs to learn to not bolt out the front door. Um, that is a big one. He does have training starting soon, so we're gonna get there. Today where I'm going is I'm heading to Nordstrom Rack to make these returns, and then I am going to Kohl's for a return. I picked up this darling Draper James. Is that it, Draper James? I had never heard of the brand. I didn't know what it was. Stitch Fix had something by Draper James, and I thought surely I could find it for less, and I did. I found it in Kohl's for less. Um, but it is not suitable for me. It is a darling dress. Um, if I can get a picture of it, I'll pop it up here. Um, it's absolutely, oh my heck, it's absolutely adorable. Okay. I really like it until I put it on. The bottom is puffed out, almost like it has like a, not a peplum. What, what goes under, what, 
petticoat. Is that what goes under a skirt? Makes it fluffy. It's almost like it has that underneath it. My body is not suitable to that shape. Um, it, it was not appropriate on my body. It just didn't look right. And it was a little too young for me. Um, so I just, it, it wasn't perfect. And so I thought, you know what, if I don't return it, it's just going to sit in my closet. No matter how much I love the pattern, the dress doesn't suit me. So it needs to go back. So that is what is happening. Um, and, uh, so that's going back. And then I have, um, some returns to Target and I have a pickup at Lowe's. And then I need to run to the grocery store, Lowe's Home Improvement, Lowe's Hardware. Then I need to run to the grocery store. I need to get, I think it's three things. Heavy whipping cream, uh, Egg Life wraps, and a bell pepper. <laughs> That's what's on the grocery store. I do need to place an order for ButcherBox. Um, I haven't, I do need to do that. I may do that this week instead of getting hamburger at the grocery store, we'll see. We are not shopping at Nordstrom Rack, we are not. I took you through Nordstrom Rack, I think a little while ago. No, I walked through Nordstrom Rack, I didn't take you through, I don't think. Um, that's a lot of fun, I really enjoy Nordstrom Rack. Uh, right now, the Clear the Rack sale is going on, it's Memorial Day, it's an additional 25% off clearance. Uh, Nordstrom is having a big sale, J. Crew is having a big sale. Um, I did pick up some things from J. Crew. I will link them for you, but honestly, don't buy them unless they're on sale. I, I don't, I, I would, it's J. Crew Factory, I believe. I don't think it's J. Crew. Um, but what I got was a linen sweater pullover. Come on, you can cut. Um, in beige, uh, excuse me, in brown, tan, and white. I got two of them. I got a striped button back linen tank top. And I got um, two pair of linen shorts and is that it? I think that's it. So there you go. I, I didn't see the need to really get anything else. Uh, I don't need, oh, I got three pair of linen pants. That's what I got. They were $22 for the linen pants. Now I have the ones that I love from Amazon. I have those, but they're cuffed at the bottom. These are a little, like, um, almost cropped. They're not, they're not cropped on me. They'll be ankle length on me. And they were so cute. They were just a different style. And I really liked them. So I got them in a hot pink. <laughs> My exit's coming up, Bunker Hill. A hot pink, a striped brown and, or blue and white or gray and white striped, and either, it's either white or black, I can't remember. We are in the parking lot. We found Nordstrom Rack. We got here. There's a car. Look at these shrubs right here. Look at this. You see that? Those shrubs right there in the glare? They really... Don't put shrubs at an intersection like that. People can't see. Especially short people like me. We can't see around shrubs. Look, more shrubs. Ugh. It causes fender benders, especially when there's not a four-way stop. All right, oops, I did it wrong. Ooh, Nordstrom Rack is already happening. I was really hoping that coming on a weekday, it wouldn't be so busy, but it is. You know what, I was in Walmart and I need kitty litter. Darn it, oh well. Ooh, that's a good H-E-B right there. That's H-E-B Central Market, y'all. If you have never been to a Central Market H-E-B, I highly recommend it. All right, so let's pull in in front of this beautiful Range Rover. Ooh, ooh, look at you, you are very pretty. Okay, I'm going in to make these returns. Oh, look at my cute little purse, look at this. <gasps> Is it not, darling, if I can still link it, I will, but look, it has the narrow strap up here. I don't like these white straps, so I liked that it was the narrow strap. This is darling. This is like faux leather trim and this is canvas and it's so pretty. It's reminiscent of those really expensive brands that I just think are so beautiful, but the size is perfect for me and the weight and everything. It was absolutely perfect. Okay, return complete. I'm going to put some sanitizer on my hand because I'm just going to take one second to eat some breakfast and I want to explain it to you and then I'm going to, I'm a little shiny. Woo! Um, use a, uh, I used a sunscreen this morning that I'm just trying to use up and woo, it's shiny. Anyway, um, so I'm going to take this drink real quick and I'm going to explain this to you. 
Okay. Chocolate muffins. And these are made with almond butter and eggs. There's no actual other nut flowers in here. Uh, I can handle almond butter in moderation. Same with almond flour, but I can't have too, too much of it. But these seem to be a recipe. It's so simple. It's eggs and almond butter and a couple of other minor ingredients. Ingredients. It is so delicious. So the texture is like regular. I don't know how to describe it. It's delicious. So I'm going to put the recipe down below and the little moderations I made with it. Um, she's made all sorts of things with this recipe and um, I really like it. So I'm gonna make the bread because I cannot get my egg whites to whip up for egg white bread. They just will not. It's too hot and humid in Texas. And no matter what I do, no matter when I make them, I cannot get them to whip up. I don't know what's happening. I had success the first couple of times I made it and then after that, forget it. It's like, forget it. <laughs> so I'm going to eat this and then um, I will see you in a little bit. Hello you guys. It's another day. I'm in the car, I just got in the car. Let's try this again. My phone keeps locking up. I don't know what's happening. Hello. I really don't know what's wrong with my phone. It keeps doing weird things. I think it had something to do with, I don't know. Anyway, hello. It is now Friday, Saturday, Friday. It's Friday. And I am headed home. I am at Kroger. I ran in. I did just a very small grocery shop. I needed like some seeded crackers. Um, some fresh produce and um, uh, a couple of little things like that. Is this not blowing on me? Uh, hold on. It's hot. It is 90 outside. This is just not blowing, which is weird. Anyway, um, the car is always set up for Robert to drive, and so when I drive, it's weird. Anyway, um, so I just wanted to take a second to close out the vlog. Um, I know we've been in the car all this vlog. That's it. That's all we've done is be in the car. So we'll call this a car vlog and boy, she can talk. <laughs> so um, yeah, next week we'll get in the kitchen. Um, I will uh, post the recipe down below for those protein muffins I was telling you about. Sir, you need to wait. And um, just so you know, I just ordered and gotten in a new protein powder that I tried today. And let me just tell you, I've never found a protein powder I liked until this one. And the only thing that is in it is beef protein and stevia and cocoa powder. And then there's a strawberry one and a vanilla one. I tried the, the cocoa powder one, the chocolate one and the strawberry one. I will never be without this stuff, ever, ever. So yeah. I will leave the name of it down in the description box for you. It's very expensive, so just know that. So, all right, you guys, thank you so, so much for joining me. You guys are the best. I'm sure this vlog is long, super long. Um, and uh, we'll get back in the kitchen and get back home. Uh, we're having a party this weekend, a Memorial Day party. The kids are all coming over. Their friends are coming over. It's gonna be a lot of people at the house on Sunday afternoon. And I'm not gonna vlog that because you guys know my family doesn't like to be on camera and I'm sure their friends don't either. So, and all their little kids are coming. I'm so excited. Oh my God, I can't wait. All right, you guys, thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Please subscribe before you go. Give this video a thumbs up and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Inside, no, it ain't worth your time, baby. You got a good.